So hello everyone and welcome to the fifth episode of the Gen X podcast series. And today we have Mr. Anikhil Somanji, and he was actually a part of a previous episode called uh, "How to Start Freelancing as a Beginner." And in this episode, he'll be sharing his journey of TCS Digital with us. So hey guys, my name is Sanmay, and you're watching Techmaster. So let's get started with this episode. So first of all, Anikhil, uh, welcome and thank you for being here once again. No, thanks for having me here again. Uh, it's really a pleasure to share my experiences all, as always. Yes. Uh, so I think the most important question, like, what is the basic difference between TCS Ninja and TCS Digital? Yeah. So the basic difference is the technologies uh, that TCS Digital profile handles. So the technologies used there are related to data science field, uh, probably AI, ML, and big data field. Also, there is a lot of emphasis on uh, uh, automation. That is, uh, cloud services. Uh, mainly, they focus on Microsoft Azure rather than AWS. So, and another technology is uh, is the blockchain. Uh, they have been recently working on blockchain as well. So, these are the kind of spectra of technologies that digital people work in. And for the ninja role, uh, the projects that are they get they get into are uh, development projects and testing projects. So mainly the difference is the technologies that are used, and uh, obviously the package is a lot different as well. Okay, so main technology difference is there, and because the higher technologies are used, the package is also more intensive than that. Yeah, and as the technologies are latest technologies, they also expect you to be skilled in those technologies as well. Yeah, definitely. Yes. So uh, next question is that what are the different ways through which you can get into TCS digital? yeah actually this is a very crucial question because uh, many of us do not know at all about these uh, different paths that we can choose to get into digital uh, i am one of them i did not know about any of these paths uh, until uh, until almost it was too late to know uh, so one of the most straightforward path is the tcs nqt exam uh, if you score high enough uh, then you will be selected in the list of ninja toppers and after that you will be getting a coding round uh, which will consist of medium to hard level questions coding questions and if you pass that uh, you will be getting an opportunity for the digital interview so that is the most straightforward way many people do know that um, but there are a lot of contests that are held by tcs uh, for example tcs inframind and tcs hack quest so these are the annual contest that are held by tcs for finding the talents uh, in late, latest technologies like uh, data science and automation so these are the four main ways where wherein you can get into tcs digital and also i did not mention that but if you are selected as a ninja candidate there is still a chance that you can upgrade your offer to digital offer uh, via a test called dca test uh, th- this is again a coding test Where you have to uh, solve coding challenges, and you will get an interview for the digital position. So there are actually many ways you can get into digital. So the earlier you know, the better you can prepare for these contests. Yes, yes. So the next question is: Out of the uh, ways you told, which one you chose to uh, get into TCS digital? Yeah. So I uh, actually I only knew about the TCS Infra Mind. I did not know about Hack Quest. So I applied for TCS Inframind, and this was the season four. This year was season four of this uh, annual contest. Uh, it's a, actually a really amazing contest uh, organized by TCS. Uh, it is very large scale. Uh, all the people from India uh, uh, participate here and compete here. So mainly there are four latest technologies that are uh, uh, there in this contest. Uh, the first one is the AI ML. Uh, second one is autonomous IT, which consists of cloud services. uh third one is sustainability and wellness uh, wherein we uh, include concept of environmental consciousness as well and another one is the hyper connectivity uh, wherein the domain of networking and if, uh, efficient uh, connections are there so you can choose any of these uh, four uh, towers as they call it and uh, there is uh, the first round there uh, which was uh, mainly of mcq round and most of the questions were related to cloud technologies so it's a no brainer that they need you to be equipped at least the basics of cloud so that was the round one um, it was comparatively easy a uh, lot of people go through this round easily 
uh, and then the second round is there which is really interesting round uh, wherein they would provide you a problem statement and you have to work on it uh, over a period of 3 months and then you have to um, present it uh, and provide a working prototype and the codes as well and then they will judge you on the basis of your project uh, and they will select top 20 people from all, all the competitors uh, this year actually it was uh, about 60k people that participated and in the round 2 they select uh, top 20 people and top 20 people are the top 5 from all the four towers so let's say for aiml uh, top 5 people will be selected and similarly for all the rest of the three towers as well and after this round there is another round called the hackathon round uh, it's a really amazing experience wherein tcs call you to their um, invite you to their campus and they provide all the essentials and um, uh, your convenience for you uh, to participate in the hackathon uh, and they uh, also mentor you and guide you through uh, various experts and um, their experiences as well and uh, after that round um, the judges uh, rate all the participants and there is another round actually uh, which then decides the top 3 winners uh via question answer round and presentation round so this is a very long process uh, but uh, most important round i would say is the second round so getting into the top 20 is uh, very crucial and this is the overall uh, gist of the infra minds contest okay so can you describe a little bit more about the questions or the problems you were asked to solve in this particular round yeah so actually in the second round we are given a problem statement uh, according to the technology that we have chosen uh, but the good thing is they do provide the freedom that we can express or come up with our own use cases as well so in my case uh, i was working on machine learning and the problem statement was coming up with uh, ai use cases for enterprises so i will talk to you about uh, what i did as my project uh, so there are a lot of enterprises like hotstar uh, which are really struggling right now because of the less customer acquisition actually there are a lot of third party uh, uh, websites or apps that do provide the live streaming sports services uh, for free of cost so lesser people are interested in buying actually the subscription uh, for companies like hotstar uh, so what happens is uh, um, they do struggle a lot with customer acquisition so i was working on that project Uh, so the use case was uh, what happens is in odi matches in cricket uh, they last for about 7 hours and lot of the viewers do not have the time to watch the whole live match uh, at the same time the viewer do not want to miss the exciting moments from the match as well uh, so my solution for this problem was the match day alerts so uh, during the live match the viewers will get uh, alerts uh, whenever a big moment is about to occur so that they do not miss the exciting moments from the match as well so this uh, this is the project that i was working on uh, it was a machine learning based uh, project uh, wherein i was uh, predicting what is going to happen in the current over uh, using the whole build up of the match uh, so this is what I, uh, this is what i was working on and thankfully they were all impressed with that project and i was selected in the top 20 okay so that was really great solution provided by you for hotstar and uh, i hope it get selected so uh, next is how will you rate the overall overall experience of the problem or of the contest uh to be honest it is uh, the competition is really uh, great out there uh, i spoke to the people that were there in the top 20 after was we connected and chatted about uh, different things uh, and they are uh, really skilled people uh, as you can imagine the people from all around india compete here so the competition is really high uh, but i would say uh, getting into round 3 that is passing the round 2 will be really crucial and the road ahead of that will be uh, much smoother than you would expect okay so after getting selected through that uh, particular contest how is the uh, further interview process of the tcs winter yeah so actually tcs provides opportunity for uh, digital interviews to the top 20 candidates that were selected so uh, the interview went uh, actually pretty well uh, but there were some unexpected things that happened there uh, so the interviewer has uh, interview panel has three people 
and they are actually domain experts in uh, three different technologies so first person was asking me about uh, machine learning and they uh, asked me a lot about the project that i did in the uh, second round uh, so uh, based on that there were some uh, related questions to that and some machine learning related question but there was nothing such as such that i was not expecting in the domain of machine learning uh, but uh, the next guy he asked a lot of uh, tricky questions in the domain of angular so i was talking about the projects that i did in angular so he asked me the uh, basics of angular the angular life cycle and what are the first components or the, what is the first thing that gets loaded in angular can we change that how can we change that so there were some uh, deep questions there and some tricky questions as well uh, so that was that and the third person actually asked me a lot of managerial round questions uh, they were pretty easy uh, but then uh, the first guy took over again and he was asking actually uh, some light hearted questions about the trends in technologies and all uh, for example he was asking me about uh, which database should be used and what do you think about uh, mysql and what do you think about mongodb and should they make any changes in their uh a database and optimization uh, etc so the, that was a kind of a discussion rather than question uh, but he was just taking about my awareness in the trends in technologies and uh, latest technologies so that was about the interview uh, i would rate it uh, for medium to hard uh, just because of the tricky questions in some part and what my tip would be for you guys to uh, really know the basics rather than the uh, advanced level stuff uh, because you can um, they do expect you to have a good a good foundation in uh, the technologies that you mentioned okay so uh, the question is related to the uh, problem you solved and the latest trend in the market the previous internships and projects that are the main focus over here in the interview yes i would say they first make sure that you do know about the you do know about the uh, round 2 project that you did and just to make sure that uh, you yourself did that project and then they move on to uh, your other projects and your other skills okay so one last question like what are the do's and don'ts one should follow before entering into this digital process uh one obvious tip would be to know about uh, when these contests occur and uh, prepare accordingly uh, the mistakes that i did was i did not know at all uh, until the the registrations were up uh, for the last stage so i did not prepare as much as would i i would have liked uh, but uh, as i had i had a strong hand in ml that helped me a lot uh, in the journey uh, another thing is uh, there is a lot of period that you have in hand for developing this project so make sure that you put uh, put your 100% in and put a lot of time into it and effort into it and i'm sure it is worth it uh, and another thing that i would like to mention is um, do learn about the prerequisites because uh, before you get into the courses of these technologies so for courses like ml do not just jump right into learning about machine learning courses so there are there are a lot of prerequisites that you do need to know like the mathematics and probabilities so please go through that and that will be true to be the changing factor in your interviews because they do want a strong foundation rather than some practical or uh, project related stuff okay so that was some of the helpful answer aniki and uh, i think that will help most of the people because everywhere it's uh, only tcs and qt and qt and no one mentions about the digital process so i think this will help people to discover the digital process more and and more and more people will be uh, applying through this contest also so yes that will help them uh, in their interview process also so thank you aniki for once here once again being here and uh, i hope that will help everyone out there so thank you once again yeah my, my pleasure and i also hope that uh, all the viewers out there who get some really valuable things from here and all the best for the future as well yes definitely thank you and uh, so that's it guys for this episode and i hope uh, it will clear all your doubts about pcs digital and uh, if you uh, like this video do hit the like button and also share this video with everyone Uh, who don't know about this uh, digital process and lastly don't forget to subscribe our channel for more interesting and upcoming podcasts so that's it for this episode and i'll meet you in the next one